Google Keep Tips and Tricks. Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys certain tips and tricks that can help you in improving your experience on Google Keep. So let's jump right in. Now, Google Keep is an amazing tool to use, but did you know that with a few tips and tricks, you can actually get a lot more value? Starting off is grouping your notes as well as creating checklists. So let's say that I was writing my grocery list and I just jolted down stuff. So I'll add milk, eggs, and then maybe I also have to buy t-shirts and a charger or a power bank. Now I've created this instant list, but I cannot actually check this out. So you can take any pre-existing list that you have and click on these three dots on the bottom right. Then click on show checkboxes to create a checkbox. This will allow you to create simple lists and make them checkable. So whenever a task is completed, you are easily able to check an item out. Now. Another really interesting feature that a lot of people don't know about using Google Keep is how you can actually structure your lists. So I have built this packing list and I've added these items, but I want to segregate them into two sections. One, I want to be electronics and the other one, I want to be basics. So to be able to make these into two separate sections, all you have to do is open up your note and you can hold this space right beside on the left side of the checkbox and then indent it towards the right. So simply hold and move it towards the right side. Now these items will become a sub item of electronics and basics. And now if I want to check or uncheck all of the items in electronics, I can simply check out electronics. Or if I want to uncheck that, I can uncheck electronics to uncheck all of the items present with it. This can help you in easily managing and segregating lists and making sure that your work is done on time. Now moving on towards the next feature. Did you know that you can take any long note and move it towards Google Docs? So if you are writing up your ideas and you just jolted down whatever you were thinking about on Google Keep, you can actually move that to Google Dots. And a lot of people might just say, hey, you can just copy the entire thing and then open up Google Docs and then paste it over there. But that is pretty tedious to do. Instead, all you have to do when you're using Google Keep is to open up the note and click on these three dots on the bottom right. Once you click on these three dots, you can click on copy to Google Docs. And on the bottom left, it will display that it is copying this to Google Docs. Click on open doc over here to open up the newly created doc. And it has all the text copied as it is from Google Keep into Google Docs. This can help you in saving and writing up different documents and not having to tediously open up Google Docs every time you are trying to, you know, copy and paste your ideas into Docs. Now, moving on towards the next feature. Did you know that Google Keep actually has a Chrome extension that can help you in clipping text from anywhere? So open up your Chrome web store and search for the Google Keep extension. Once you open up the Google Keep extension, click on add to Chrome, then click on add extension over here. Now this is the official extension by Google. And once you have installed this extension, you can pin this over here. Click on the extension and you can open this up. Now this has been installed. Now when I open up any article or any page with text on Google, you will see your extension becomes yellow. So let's say I want to um, highlight this over here or keep this text section. So all I have to do is click on the Google Keep and I can take a look at this section, copy it over here and then paste that like so. So I can add my note like so, and then I can click on create note. Once I click on create note, if I view this note in keep, not only will it display the text that I wrote in, but it will also give you a link to the article that you copied this from. So you can actually go back and take a look at your references or at the knowledge bases that you have. Now, moving on, you know that you can add images in Google Keep, 
but you can actually edit images and grab text from images in Google Keep as well. To do that, I have this note where I have added this particular image. Now, if I want, I can go on ahead and click on these three dots at the bottom right. Then click on grab image text. Now, you will see if I click on grab image text at the bottom, this has copied all the text present within. Not only has it copied this text, which is no one grows ketchup like Heinz, which is this section over here. But because there was this logo, and even though it was present within like this design element, it has still been able to copy every single item. So it says Heinz 57 varieties, Heinz 57 varieties, then again it says Heinz 1869, tomato ketchup 57 varieties, and you guys can see it has copied even the text present within the logos of the image. And at the bottom, again, it has copied Heinz because there was Heinz at the bottom of this particular image as well. So instead of having to use fancy tools to copy text that is present within images, you can easily use Google Keep to extract text within images. Now, another really amazing feature is image editing. Simply open up your note that has your image and click on it once more. Once you click on the image, you are going to see this pen icon on the top right. Click on this pen icon. Once you click on your pen icon, you will see different options to crop the particular image like so, as well as erase, write, highlight, as well as use a marker on this image. So we can go on ahead and you know, start customizing our image. Let's say I want to, you know, write something up so I can go on ahead and write that with this kind of ink pen. There's also multiple different color options that you can pick out from. You can also go with the highlighter. So let's say I want to highlight something. So I will choose a larger size and then I can highlight this. This is the marker. I'm going to erase that first and this is the highlighter over here again so I'll, I'll highlight my text over here no one grows ketchup like Heinz so I can highlight stuff as well as use the marker to write stuff within my Google Keep images and in this way you can edit images within Google Keep now lastly but not least you can set up reminders directly from Google Keep so let's say I want to have a reminder about my packing list. All I have to do is hover my cursor over my packing list. And then on the bottom left, there is this bell icon. Click on remind me over here and you can add a reminder. By default, it will give you three options of later today, tomorrow, or next week. Or you can go on ahead and pick a particular date and time. So let's say I want to be reminded in a week in the evening and this is not going to be a repetitive reminder not only that but you can actually set up repeat reminders for tasks that are redundant and repeating in your life so you can set up a weekly daily monthly yearly or a custom time period reminder that is going to be activated after every duration of time so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.